Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. Hey, Kite. I've been waiting a long time to take you on again. Now, we'll finally see who the better duelist is. Bring it on, Yuma. Let him have it, Utopia. Attack with Rising Sun Slash! is quite remarkable. No matter how many times he's knocked to the floor, he always jumps right up again and gets back to dueling. I, on the other hand, am nothing like you. I give up. You win. Now that heart's okay, I don't need to collect number cards. I forfeit. Dueling lacks purpose for me. Listen, Kite, you are wrong. You see, dueling does have a purpose, though you cannot see it. The more you duel with someone, the deeper your bonds grow together. Friendships carry you into the future. Please, understand, Kite. You do not need to live in the past. Live instead for the future. I've never had many friends. But it sounds like dueling opens up a world of possibilities, and I'd be a fool to ignore that. You ready to get beat? You'll regret those words. See? You winning is not in the cards! If I face the game, they say I can't win I'll never amount to nothing Tell me, tell me, all my life begins I won't be afraid to challenge myself It won't ever break my fire My dreams will die if I high five The sky spread my wings, say God, it's time to fly Take a chance to make it all the way Take a chance for getting I'm gonna make you sorry you talked me back into this match. Yeah, yeah, less you have and more dueling. My turn. I draw. All right, I'm activating my spell, Card of Adversity. Since you have Utopia on your field and I have no monsters on my field, it allows me to draw two cards. And I'm gonna use one of them right now. I activate. And it'll fill up my empty field fast. That's because when I have no monsters, I can bring out a level four light warrior monster from my deck. And I think I'll do exactly that and call on Daybreaker. Interesting. Please be careful. I will. Like you even have a choice about that, Yuma. When I summon one Daybreaker, I can call out a second one to join it. Can you guess what's next? I overlay my two level four Daybreakers. With these two monsters, I build the overlay network and exceed summon Star Liege Pallet Dynamo. Hope he's through. No, he is not. Exactly right, Astro, because now Star Liege Paladinamo's special ability activates. And then by using one overlay unit, the attack points of your Utopia become zero, and all cards on the field other than Paladinamo lose their effects. Utopia's special abilities are gone? That's right. It can be destroyed even though it's a number. Let's show them what I mean. Paladinamo, strike with Photon Divider! I end my turn. Your move. Ah. Kite is in top form. I know. That's why this is such a great duel. Kite, you better watch out because I'm feeling a comeback kicking in. You wish that were true, but like every time we duel, you're in over your head, pal. Those days are all long gone, and I'll back that up by taking you down. 
my turn. I draw. I activate the spell, Heart of Spell Containment. This means I can draw two cards, and that's gonna add up to double the trouble for you. Yes. I summon Gaga -ga -ga Caesar. When I have a Gaga -ga -ga monster on my field, I'm allowed to summon Gaga -ga -ga Clerk. <laughs> Gaga -ga party into gear. I'll activate Gaga -ga Caesar's special ability by banishing one monster from my graveyard. The levels of all my monsters become the same as it. This way, by banishing level four Gunbara Knight, Gaga -ga Caesar and Gaga -ga Clerk become level four. Watch out, Kai! Yuma's on the attack. Things are looking up. Yuma, feel the flow. That's it. Finish him off. I overlay level four Gaga. -ga Caesar and Gaga -ga -ga Clerk. With these two monsters, I build the overlay network and Xyz summon Heroic Champion Excalibur. Ha! You must using the monster he got from me. Let him have it, Clobber Kite. Now Excalibur, attack Paladynamo. But those monsters are evenly matched. Yeah, both have 2,000 attack points. Not after I use Excalibur's special ability. By using all my overlay units, Excalibur's attack points are doubled till the end of my turn. 4,000 attack points. Bingo. Go, Excalibur. Attack with double shock sword slash. destroyed my paladynamo. But if you hope to beat me, you'll need to do a lot more than that. I will, but now I end my turn. Yuma may have ended his turn, but hopefully his chances of winning aren't over too. I'll say. This duel is so intense, it's giving me the whiskers. Or I mean, giving me the shivers. Well, if you ask me, that's a good thing. Huh? What I meant is that Yuma and Kite look like they're having the time of their lives. <sighs> Hey, what's that funny look on Kite's face? It's a smile. It feels like forever since I've seen him do that. Huh? I've never seen Kite enjoy dueling. Kazuma, your son just may be the one to show my Kite what dueling is really about. Here I go. My turn. I draw. I activate the spell Galaxy Zero. I equip this card on Galaxy Eye's Photon Dragon that's in my graveyard to summon it back in attack mode. However, Galaxy Eye's loses all its special abilities. Welcome back, Galaxy Eye's. This duel just got a whole lot tougher, which means it got a whole lot more fun, too. Galaxy Eye's may be back, but it loses 800 attack points in battle due to Galaxy Zero's effect. Well, Dextra, Yuma may be able to get the upper hand now. You wish. Uh -huh. Galaxy Eyes attack Excalibur. Go Photon Stream of Destruction. Yuma! <laughs> now that that's over, Galaxy Eyes' attack points return to normal. I'll place one card face down and end my turn. Well, you. Nice move, but I got a few of my own. Get ready! Count on it, Yuma. My turn! I activate Gaga -ga, Ga Draw! By banishing three Gaga -ga, Ga monsters from my graveyard, I can draw two cards. Here goes! Ha! One of those cards was the spell Xyz Revival. It lets me bring an Xyz monster back from my graveyard. Uh-oh, Kite, getting scared? Please, do I look scared of you, Yuma? You're so predictable, I know what you'll bring back. I just do what works, Kite. And I know this'll do it. Come on back, Utopia! You know Utopia 
is no match for galaxy eyes. That's a fact I'm gonna change right now. Go! Chaos exceeds evolution! Appear chaos number 39, Utopia Ray! on my field, let me put it to work. Kite, get ready, cause now I'm activating Utopia Ray's special ability, Overlay Charge. By using one Overlay unit, Utopia Ray gains 500 attack points this turn. But don't think I forgot about your monster. Galaxy Eyes loses 1,000 attack points. The stage is now set for my monster to take down yours. Go, Utopia Ray! Attack his galaxy eyes with Rising Sun Chaos Slash! Sorry to disappoint, but your monster won't be taking down anything anytime soon. I activate Galaxy Zero's effect. By sending this card to the graveyard, my galaxy eyes isn't destroyed. Yeah, but you still took battle damage, so you lose, huh? Hey, what gives? What gives is that since my dragon is no longer equipped with Galaxy Zero, it loses all its attack points. That would normally be a bad thing, but you, Matt, did you forget about your own car? Of course, your Zero Z rocks effect. It's all because of me? Yes, Yuma. I owe my move all to you. Now neither of us can attack a monster with zero attack points. And so, Utopia Ray's attack was canceled out. This is bad. But it gets far worse. Remember the spell Battle Gravity? Since Utopia didn't attack, you take a thousand points of damage, which spells the end for you, Yuma. Because you only have 300 life points left. I don't think so. I activate Dimension Gate. This trap allows Yuma and I to banish Utopia Ray. That's right, and since I can't attack you, your battle gravity won't deal me any damage. <laughs> wow, nicely played, Yuma. Master Kai, please don't lose to this loser! I place one card face down and end my turn. Yuma? I am impressed with your skills. Ah, did you mean that? You have executed the last few moves completely on your own. You may not need me to help anymore. Stop talking crazy. It's because of you that I duel the way I do. Oh. We're a team, and that will never change. Yuma, let us win this duel together. You got it. Listen up, you two. I have to say, that was really, really touchy. I almost hate to break the bad news to you, but the fact is, I'm winning this duel. <laughs> My turn! I draw! I summon Galaxy Wizard! <laughs> when I exceed summon, Galaxy Wizard counts as two level eight monsters! You don't know how right you are. I overlay my level 8 galaxy eyes and two galaxy wizards. With these three monsters, I build the overlay network and exceed summon Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Prepare to witness the mightiest of monsters. With the power of this beast, this battle is over! Since I use Galaxy Wizard's special ability to summon Neo Galaxy Eyes, it loses 2,000 attack points. Funny how his mind points dropped. So did your chances of winning. 
Now Neo Galaxy eyes attack him directly. Ultimate Photon Stream of Destruction! This will end the duel and Kite will win for sure. Come on, Yuma! Not so fast, Kite, because now I send Dimension Gate to the graveyard. And that lets me resummon the monster it banished. And you remember which monster that was, don't ya? Utopia Ray! Utopia Ray and Neo Galaxy Eyes have equal attack points, they'll both be destroyed. Yes, well played. Oh, oh, I'm feeling the flow! And I'll prove it by activating XC's double back. When my XC's monster is destroyed, I can summon it back along with one other monster from my graveyard that has equal or fewer attack points. What? Return to the field, Utopia and Utopia Ray! Also use the spell it sees double back. You had the same card the whole time. Woohoo! Master Kite may have the same card, but he saved it for the right time. Looks like your plan got plastered, Yuma, in your face. Oh man! Don't be upset. You dueled well. <laughs> but in the end, there can only be one winner, and that winner will be me. Galaxy Eyes attack his Utopia with Photon Stream of Destruction! And Neo Galaxy Eyes attack his Utopia Ray with Ultimate Photon Stream of Destruction! win our next duel, right? I'll face you again any time, Yuma. But first things first, you gotta improve. Me? Hey, I'm the World Duel Carnival Champion! I don't remember seeing you in the finals. Even though I just lost, I'm already looking forward to our next duel. I bet it'll be just as intense and fun as the one we just had. to dueling than just fighting for me. That was a great duel. Yuma's gotten a whole lot better. Wow, he's 
Really exhausted. Or really lazy. In the end, I guess that duel drained him completely. Yeah, must have for him to just pass out in Tori's lap like that. Oh, I'm so jealous. How come Yuma's the only one who gets to take a cat nap? Hey, Astral, you've seen Yuma sleep. Got any ideas for waking him up? Few things are impossible. Waking Yuma is one of them. Feeling the flower. Huh? That's cute. He even dreams about dueling, doesn't he? Observation number 20. Even in a duel lost, can a friendship be found? You are Tsukumo and Astral. They were stronger than I expected. We have no choice but to defeat them ourselves.